Hey everybody, Dr. Darren Ingalls here. So I get this question asked a lot, you know, I, people come in sometimes and they can say, you know, I get sick over and over. It's just as soon as I get over one illness, I'm moving right into the next one. I've always got this congestion, stuffy nose, head pressure, and I just don't understand why. My immune system just can't seem to kick it. Well, there might be a lot of different reasons of why that does happen, but one of the more common things I see is actually related to allergy. You know, when your body creates allergy, it creates that, that clear fluid. You know, if you've ever had hay fever before, where you get the runny nose and the watery eyes, it's all that clear fluid that allergy creates. Well, unfortunately, that fluid, when it gets created in your nose, your throat, your chest, it becomes an optimal breeding ground for any kind of virus or bacteria that you get exposed to. So if you treat the underlying allergy, often a lot of these upper respiratory infections will stop. So when I see you know kids with chronic ear infections, chronic sinus infections, if you get chronic bronchitis, especially if you're not a smoker, you know it's very possible that allergy is really that underlying trigger and that if you can stop the allergy, you'll ultimately give these bacteria and viruses no place to grow, even if you do get exposed. So, you know, we need to have that, that fluid to provide the right nutrients and environment that those viruses and the bacteria can really thrive and then start to cause infection. So if you can dry that cavity up, even if you get exposure, you're just not as likely to get the ill effects of having been exposed to the virus and bacteria. So if you want to really know if you have allergies, I would definitely recommend see your practitioner there's a lot of different ways that you can test and find out if you're allergic to anything. Allergy in this country has a pretty narrow definition. These are the reactions that happen quickly after exposure. So if you're allergic to a dog or a cat, you start to get itchy eyes and you sneeze. If you're allergic to pollen, you know, watery eyes, sneezing, scratchy throat. So these reactions happen often within minutes uh, of exposure. Whereas, you know, in Europe, the definition of allergy is a little bit broader. So it talks about a lot of these reactions that aren't just the immediate reactions. So in the United States, again, most allergists really look at the things that happen quickly. In, in other parts of the world, they look at things that might be delayed reactions. So, you know, if it's an environmental allergy, it will probably co correspond with different times of year. So for the people who are allergic to pollen, you know, when the spring rolls around and the trees start blooming, that's when they notice their symptoms come on. If you're someone who's highly allergic to mold, usually the fall or whenever it's rainy and damp, that tends to be a worse time of year. If you find that this is really throughout the year and it doesn't change with the season less likely it's related to you know mold or pollen it could be related to dust because dust is everywhere or it could be related to something that you're eating so it's technically probably not a food allergy because food allergies are typically anaphylactic where you get hives you can't breathe your face swells people have those kind of reactions usually find out the hard way whereas if you've got a delayed reaction to food that could be much harder to pick up so again a good you know functional medicine doctor environmental medicine doctor naturopathic doctor doctor, you know, can help you sort out if you're having any kind of delayed reaction to food. You know, allergy is really the cumulative effect of everything you're exposed to. So it could be food, mold, pollen, and so forth. So sometimes you have to look at the broad scope of everything in your environment to find out what's actually provoking you and making you feel worse. But by identifying that, you know, if it's something you can avoid, great, avoid it. If you can't avoid it, there are ways to treat it. We use things called immunotherapy and there's different ways of doing it. But the concept is a little bit like allergy shots where we're trying to desensitize you against the thing that's triggering you. And in doing that over time, we can build your immune tolerance so that these things don't bother you anymore and you stop getting all that clear fluid. So, you know, again, if this is something that's been ongoing for you and you just find you're getting sick over and over, I think the number one thing I find in my practice, again, is this underlying allergy that's never really been identified and addressed. And until you address that, you know, there's a lot of treatments that tend to be very symptomatic. You can stop the fluid from building up. Uh, but again, that's really a superficial treatment. It's not really getting to the root cause. And since we are really interested in getting to the root of your problem, this is a way to start taking that step and, and addressing that. So definitely, you know, check out, you know, with your functional medicine or naturopathic doctor, help identify what these allergens are, and that'll start you on the road to stop getting sick and better health. Thanks so much.